Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. When Buick introduced the two-seat Riata in 1988, some skeptics questioned the logic of selling a sleek, radically styled coupe alongside Buick's normally conservative models. The Riata quickly silenced all criticism by outselling its more expensive competitor, the Cadillac Elante, by a substantial margin. The Riata offered it all, big buck luxury and performance in a sporty, reasonably priced package. The only thing missing in many people's minds was a convertible top for true wind in the hair motoring. The Buick had anticipated that demand and this year introduces the Riata convertible. But there's more that's new for Buick's sportiest model. The new convertible top is only the most obvious manifestation of Buick's drive to keep its customers satisfied. The Riata convertible was conceived and styled right alongside its hardtop sibling and therefore escapes the afterthought look of many soft top conversions. The top's lines blend smoothly with the body, just as they do in the coupe. The top is wider than its storage cavity, which required the top's designer, ASC, to come up with a new mechanism that pulls the sides in as the top is lowered. The result is a manual top that works simply. While our prototype test car had power releases for the tonneau cover and the top's rear attachment, production cars will have manual releases. Once released, the top folds quickly away beneath the hard boot cover, which closes with a snap. With the top down, the Riata is an exercise in smoothness and easily one of the best-looking convertibles ever. This exposes the Riata's other big change, a completely restyled dash. Riata owners love their car's performance, styling, and tons of standard equipment, but many didn't care for the digital gauge package and clumsy CRT control center. So Buick discarded the CRT and replaced it with more conventional controls. A standard driver's side airbag adds an extra degree of safety. When you get into the Riata, you'll find a set of comfortable leather-clad seats. Nice as these seats are, there's a serious lack of side bolstering to hold you in on tight corners. But everyone on our staff likes the tremendous versatility of the optional 16-way power seat controls. Even the elephant man can find a good driving position in these seats. The automatic climate system and standard cassette stereo are now run by clear, well-marked control centers that make you wonder what Buick saw in the CRT in the first place. A compact displayer is also available as an option. Our staff is mixed, however, on the new gauge cluster. Some don't like digital readouts in any form. Others feel that Buick should be congratulated for trying a style that simulates needles and dials. Regardless, there is more clear information here than in any Buick since the Grand National. Convertible tops almost always mean less trunk room, but on the Riata, the situation is better than it looks at first glance. The top actually folds into the trunk. When it's up, there's plenty of room. When it's down, a large suitcase will still fit under the top. All in all, a good compromise for a tough problem. With all the changes, we're happy to say that one of the Riata's best features has been left untouched. GM's smooth, powerful 3800 series V6 engine carries over to 1990 with minimal changes. Output holds steady at 165 horsepower and 210 pound-feet of torque. This allows 0 to 60 sprints of 9.2 seconds. A quarter mile runs out in 17 seconds at 81 miles per hour. That's as quick as the last Riata coupe we tested, despite the fact that the convertible is almost 200 pounds heavier. Power delivery is smooth and flat, despite some mild torque steer on launch. The car has a slight tendency to wander under acceleration, but this is kept under control by a very well-mannered chassis. Sticky Goodyear Eagle GT Plus 4s provide plenty of bite for both acceleration and handling. The Riata may be a luxury coupe, but it's sporting luxury. Push the car hard into a corner and it responds with mild front plow and sports car-like grip. But luxury coupes sometimes lack feel, and that is borne out by the Riata's overboosted power steering. Most driver information comes by the seat of the pants route. The surprising lack of convertible body flex in hard corners is testament to the strength of the Riata chassis. Body roll is also rather mild. Not bad for a car that still manages to deliver the smooth ride that Buicks are known for. High levels of sound insulation ensure a reasonable interior sound level of 69 decibels with the top up. 
Back at trackside, the Riata makes good use of its standard anti-lock brakes to turn in a fine stopping distance average of 114 feet. Pedal feel is excellent, though a second of lockup in the middle of each stop, possibly caused by an electronic glitch, caused our prototype's nose to hop a bit. It was not serious, just unusual. As we went to editing, Buick announced pricing for the Riata convertible. It will cost $6,700 more than the $28,300 base price of the Riata Coupe. So expect to pay $35,000 when it arrives in Buick showrooms. That's still a lot less than the Riata's top domestic competitor, the Cadillac Elante. The Cadillac costs more, but it also has better power thanks to its V8 engine, better handling too. Both cars match up well on standard features, but the Caddy then pulls ahead with its available removable hardtop. The Jaguar XJS Cabriolet also cost a lot more than the Riata. Its smooth V12 engine and plush ride produce a more elegant feel than the Buick, and the Jaguar offers more prestige as well. But its aging chassis also means a less efficient interior and no better handling. On our safety check, the Riata convertible passes with anti-lock brakes and a driver's side airbag. A passenger side airbag is not yet available. Hit start with the Riata Convertible's well thought out styling and long list of standard equipment. We also like the efficient new dash, sporty handling, smooth engine, and standard anti-lock brakes. Misses are few, the lack of side bolstering in the otherwise comfortable seats and the overboosted power steering. The addition of a convertible option nicely rounds out a car that is already one of the better luxury bargains on the U.S. market. And the Riata's new dash also shows that Buick is finally listening more to customers than to marketing whims. The Riata convertible is full of positive signs that Buick has a healthy future in the increasingly competitive luxury car market. And while its volume may be small, the open-air Riata succeeds in projecting a highly desirable image for Buick, one that marketing money alone will never buy. <laughs>